I'm grateful to the Commission uh, for what they have uh, provided as a guide, and uh, we will move forward. So appreciate everyone's interest. Thank, Thank you. you. Minister, can you stay a little longer? There are more reporters on the phone line, and this is a very important issue. Do you have any more time? And we have questions from the floor, Minister. We have two questions from the floor, and we have people on the line who would like to ask more questions. The minister did promise to do right by the thousands of people and families who have been impacted. Travis Danraj has our top story tonight. It was a simple question that strikes to the heart of the tragedy outlined in this 322-page report, the tragedy in long-term care. When did the minister find out that 26 residents, 26 seniors with families, were found dead because of dehydration during the first wave? This was Marilee Fullerton's answer. We have to move forward. We have to move forward. And I came to politics uh, because of long-term care, the neglect of this sector, and I came to fix it. Looking forward may be what the minister wants to do, but it is certainly not what long-term care advocates have the stomach for Monday. They are going to have to answer for it. People are dying. They're still dying. Julie Farrell lost her mother. She says the minister, the entire government, is accountable and the report's findings must serve as a path to solutions so more deaths don't happen. We will not tolerate this. These are our parents. These are people that built our, our country and gave us the life that we have now. And to treat them with such disrespect is absolutely terrible. How convenient for you it is to look forward instead of actually providing clear answers and taking accountability for the fact